Good morning, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Euro Saturday 2024. We are here at Parc de Exposition Paris, and we are here at the Zen Technologies in the India Pavilion. We are speaking with AVM Arvind Varma, who is the Vice President Exports for Zen Technologies. Welcome, sir, to ADU's chat room. Wonderful to have you here. Thank you, Sangeeta. And, sir, this is day three. So, how is the show been going on for you? Well, uh, the show has been uh, pretty good for us. This is the first time uh, Zen Technologies is participating in Eurosatari. And uh, initially, we did feel that the footfall was a little low. But it has picked up and it's a big show and a good opportunity to showcase uh, Zen's presence uh, globally because the participants or the delegations which are here are essentially from the countries which would be interested in our products, especially the uh, francophonic countries from Africa. And we are trying to make inroads into the European market. So it is a good platform for uh, Zen Technologies to showcase its uh, capabilities. And uh, hopefully uh, over the uh, period of the exhibition, uh, we will get some good leads and follow them up. And so what are the products you are showcasing? Uh, see, products, what we are showcasing is uh, since uh, this is the first time we are participating, the products by itself are not being showcased, only the models are here. That's fine. But uh, we are showcasing the entire product range of ours, which includes our training systems for both uh, virtual simulation, live simulation and uh, live shooting ranges, which, which includes our uh, patented uh, container shooting range. That is one and over and above all this the latest the anti-drone system which has been uh, deployed very successfully by the Indian forces is what is being showcased because that is the threat of the future. The drones are flying all over and creating havoc and creating nuisance for the security environment and that is what we are uh, providing a solution for. And uh, so the market here, because uh, Euro Saturday is the biggest showcase of European countries. Yes. You have the small and big ones, everybody. Yes. Do you already have an existing market in Europe? And if so, what is the expansion plan you have? No, we don't have an uh, existing market in Europe per se. But yes, we've had a uh, few inquiries from uh, the region. So that is why we decided to be present here because our products are finding uh, traction with the uh, countries such as uh, Slovakia, Lithuania uh, and the lakes, Belarus. So we do hope that uh, our presence would give them an indication that yes, we are interested and in trying to expand. And like I said, the anti-drone system and the simulation market both are gaining traction because of uh, the current environment, security environment which is uh, prevailing across the globe. So where everyone requires training. So uh, and uh, without uh, compromising on the quality of training, you need to cut down on costs and the simulation is a good answer. And we have the capability of using the latest technology to provide the realistic or near real feel of uh, training. And is this training given to the forces, sir, or is it given to the manufacturers who will end of the day use your product? No, we will provide the full uh, integrated training solution. What does that mean, sir? That means that we will provide the entire solution to them, not give it to any manufacturer. We will give it to the end users directly as per their specific requirements because we have the capability of customizing their, uh, to their specific requirements and the weapon systems which they use so that they can use our systems as per how they want to use it and not just what we produce and give it to them. Okay, and does that mean this training uh, Zen will go to train them or will they come to your facilities to get trained? No, that training for the trainers uh, takes place in two parts. That is one, if we get the order from any end user, we get their team to train on our systems both operationally as well as for maintenance because we don't want them uh, to be dependent entirely on us. We want to empower them to uh, be able to maintain and operate the systems independently. All support is always available, it's just a call away. 
and today with the technology available you can actually uh, hook up on the internet and through a video conference you can uh, resolve majority of the issues so uh, that is uh, one part the other thing is that we want uh, to train them once we install the system we will train them to use their uh, systems the way they want it okay and uh, which means sir this show has a lot of military delegations yes and you've got a little a uh, lot of uh, forces and a little bit of also you know paramilitary here yes so uh, how have you been uh, marketing yourselves see uh, as far as uh, we are concerned our products are available both for the militaries as well as the paramilitary or the police forces because they have been extensively used by the indian army they've been extensively used by the indian police forces they've been extensively used by the indian paramilitary forces so uh, adaptation of our equipment for any of these forces is uh, not an issue so as long as they require the equipment we will customize it and give it to them so which means you can tailor make for the client absolutely like i mentioned our usp is that we will provide the system as per the user requirement and not just what we produce and give it to them okay and uh, sir when we uh, talk of training and uh, you know it's a, it's a very big system which goes through a certain system of uh, training which is already set within the forces yes so how do you make your inroads into this system see many of the countries where we have been interacting they have uh, legacy systems which have been operating you are right uh, maybe for last 10 years 15 years but they have outlived their uh, lives so the most of these users are wanting either to upgrade them or replace them so that is where we are uh, looking at the opportunities and to step in and provide solutions which are um, better than what their legacy systems are and uh, probably at a cost which may be competitive to them okay and uh, in that case it means that uh, do you need to in advance understand what the legacy systems are is that a necessity when you are trying to export your product not necessarily not necessarily because our uh, teams r and d teams and our technical teams are well qualified to handle all these uh, equipment which are legacy system because we are aware of them of how they operate Uh, but uh, sometimes it is uh, easier to just replace them because uh, those uh, legacy systems will not have the components or the spares available to change or upgrade them per se uh, so but does it mean that zen upgrades also wherever it is possible technically it has to be feasible for us to not made it. by zen but by made by someone else that depends upon the contractual obligations of the end users okay Uh, those are very uh, complicated things within uh, that need to be discussed because mm -hmm. i often i cannot say that we will upgrade them or we do mm -hmm. it but uh, because uh, if there are contractual obligation then we will probably not get into it all right 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 okay and uh, is there something you would like to add from your side uh basically we are uh, looking forward to uh, people telling us the requirement so that we can meet their specific requirements to meet their training requirements to cut down on cost with technologies which are uh, uh, latest in the field and we can assure that zen technologies has the capability of giving them things which are at par or better than what is available globally thank you very much sir it was wonderful speaking with you and i'm sure that when we meet next we'll have more to hear from you thank you very much thank you so much